I'll just go through committee by committee. Uh, so in general, is Pete Bosch here? Yeah, he's here. So we um, have been, we were very successful in um, supporting efforts to support uh, Ukraine. Um, so we um, applied for and, and uh, were granted three disaster recovery grants. It was a pretty tough to, uh, there's a lot of paperwork involved and we have to, you have to move very, very fast in order to get uh, the grants approved, get them all signed off so that you can go apply for a next one. So we were uh, one of the few that was able to pull off getting three grants approved. They're $25,000 a piece. That's money out of the Rotary Foundation. Um, and uh, so thanks to Pete, Pete Bosch, uh, uh, worked that very, very hard. <laughs> Um, we have a new website that our technology chair, Cindy. No, thank you. Um, it's put together. Now, it is not, it, I mean, it's, there's still more work, yep. you know, so it's not 100% not done. But we're, we're finally Structure. getting into a little bit more of a contemporary look and feel to our website. Um, and it's really nice and, and it'll make it easier for all of us to, to navigate. Um, we, um, the paperwork has, has been submitted. We don't have uh, the blessing yet from, from our eye, but we have no reason to expect we're, we're not. So we have a new a club that's formed. Um, we've been working on it uh, all this rotary year. Um, we set out to form a regular club and kind of hit a plateau um, on um, uh, recruiting new members. Um, so we decided to make, make it a satellite club. So the name of the club is the Satellite Club of Union Grove. It's a satellite of McGonagall Club. And it is a cause-based club. So it is uh, focused on um, uh, addiction prevention. So it's focused on trying to promote uh, all the different things that can be done to address uh, addiction prevention in our community. Uh, opioids is a, you know, is, but it's not exclusively focused on that. So that's a, that's an exciting thing. Um, we also um, have uh, kind of realigned and improved uh, the way we cover uh, our, our clubs with our AGs. Um, I had nothing to do with it. No, I shouldn't say that. I, I approved it. But Don, Pete, and Liz uh, worked on it for our future years. Um, so Don will talk about that. Uh, but that I think that's, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to just do a better job of, of supporting our clubs. And, you know, one of the issues with some of the AG territories, they were just too big. And so it made it hard for the AG to, to do that. So we've, we've, we've tried to address that. Um, last general thing before I get into more committee things, I see Mark Rudinger's here. So Mark, you want to stand up for a second? <laughs> so Mark is Mark is a uh, road director, um, has been for for quite a while. Uh, so Mark has been asked to speak at the RI convention in Melbourne. Um, what was that? Okay, so moving into uh, things that are a little bit more uh, committee aligned. So our foundation committee is our, the largest committee in our district. Uh, they, they do a lot of work uh, administering uh, the, the funds that go between our district and the Rotary Foundation, encouraging us all to contribute more. Um, so they're, they're really a, a hardworking, significant part of our leadership team. Uh, so year to date, our annual uh, uh, giving is 150% of goal. Uh, so we're excited about that. Uh, Polio Plus giving is at 204%. We're excited about that. Um, we have a total of 31 Paul Harris Society members. So that's 
a lot of that due to the work of Rob Bassett, um, who's the chair of, the, of that committee. Um, we have uh, two White Hat Society uh, members uh, this year. So that's people that have donated $5,000 or more in, in a single rotary year. Uh, district grants, we had 21 uh, clubs apply for grants. They were all approved um, and are underway. I don't think they're all done yet, right? No, no, but they're all underway. Jeff Reed manages all that. You want to stand up because he does a job managing that. He manages every detail uh, and, and keeps that, that running. Um, we have, is John Hyde here? Yeah, there he is. So we have three global, we have three global grants. They're all international grants in various stages of, of execution. Um, and John, you want to stand up for a second, John? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Global grants are, if you're not familiar with them, they're, they're, they're a lot more complicated than in district grants. They span multiple years and you're bringing together multiple districts. And uh, so John uh, manages all that. Uh, so that's the, the kind of the update from from uh, foundation area uh, of our of our district finance. I had a whole bunch of things to talk about about finance, but Dean covered the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've we've had uh, so Dean took over um, and has just done a. Phenomenal job of, of uh, kind of improving, getting a lot more electronic, you know, so we're not sending out paper invoices anymore. We're emailing them and we're, 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 we're doing what, what most businesses in our world do. We're trying to make it easier for people to do business with us by providing easier ways for them to pay us. Um, so uh, he's got that all set up. So we've got a lot of improvements. And we're excited about that. Um, and um, you know, we're doing a, he's doing a great job. Um, you've already, you know, met Dean. Um, youth exchange. So you 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 met uh, some of our students. Um, and I just want to point out that this is this year's our first COVID full exchange. So we're we're bringing people in and we're and and we're sending people out. Uh, so that's a big. So there was seven in, seven out, if I have that right. Yep, Susan's nodding. Um, so next we have um, um, seven planning to come in and two planning to go out. Uh, so there's, do we continue to work there? Um, we restarted the, there's a, a, a program called STEP program that's kind of a summer program. Uh, we are looking for, for people for that. That is a program uh, that's not really, so the normal, you know, exchange program, the, the students go for a, a school year. So they, they participate in, if they're coming here in our educational system, if we're going there, they participate, you know, in, in wherever they're going there. They're in high school there. So the STEP program is a summer program not associated with school, and it's an exchange really between two families. So it's, it's uh, you know, family here sends their uh, son or daughter and then uh, to a family, and then they send their son or daughter here. So it's kind of a, a shorter uh, exchange. And so that just started up again. It's not a new program, but it's, it, again, it was one of these things that because of COVID went to the wayside. So that is it for the youth exchange area membership committee. So the membership committee is, uh, has done, uh, I think, a great job of trying to put together and delivering uh, DEI, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion webinars. Uh, so we're happy about the success they've had there, uh, and uh, they're going to continue to work on, on, on trying to promote uh, 
uh, a better understanding of what what DEI is and how important that is for us in in growing rotary. So that's those the prepared comments. Does anybody have any questions, criticisms? Why the heck are you doing this kind of comments? <laughs> The only comment that I would have would be I saw that our funding from Boston, we voted on that, and it was kind of a problem. We asked that in the next cycle of budget, this and the future, that if the 8,000 of the capital we did five years ago, six years ago, sure. yes, we're going to show the commitment and we need to increase that significantly if we're going to be a part of it then. Because that for the insurer to have the file and the note that going forward. That would be my comment. Just to get that funding back up to the level that makes us a part of the company. Can you yep. summarize that? Can you summarize that for the um, Oh, never mind. He typed it. Never mind. Oh. Is there a question coming in? Instead of why. Sorry, I'm here for property. Don't care. Okay, cool. All right. Can I just get it off? Definitely. Can we let me grab the mic so it's going to hold the headshot? Can you come up? I'm sorry. Yes. No problem. Get it out. Come around. Yeah, because there's too many. Too many cables. Too many extension cords over here. So that's right. No problem. I didn't mess you up when I kicked the power out, did I? Well, good thing I have a battery. And then I Thank you. Uh, this is an opportunity I couldn't uh, dismiss. And that is, I'm on the World Community Service Committee, and we're going to be sending out a survey to all the clubs in our district trying to find out the international service that the clubs are doing. And I encourage you to fill out that survey. And one of the items on it is going to be uh, Are you involved in fellowships? And I don't know, I was surprised to learn about a fellowship. I'll admit my ignorance. How many people know about the fellowships? Encourage members of your club. There's a, there's a Harley Davidson fellowship. Encourage members of your club to join fellowships or join action groups so you're going to be able to respond to that survey so we can find clubs in our district are really interested in international service. This is done at the uh, suggested recommendation of the Zone Institute last September. And we're following through on that. So thank you. Sure. Thank you, Jim. Okay, so next up on oh. sure. <laughs> thank you for your school fair seminar. And I want to invite you to attend the World Fair Seminar. It's the last week in June at Carroll University. And if you have not been there, it's an opportunity to see how our delegates work and play and what they're learning. Our theme this year is climate change. So if you want to learn something, observe the delegates, put it on your calendar to come to Carroll University last week in June. Thank you. If you have any more questions, you can go to Francis Vogel, our executive director. Francis, stand up, please. He's got a table. I'll bring them all over. Thank you. Oh, yes. Gordon McNally will be there. Our incoming our president. That's what I was going to say. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> what day you will be there? June 29th. That will be the partner meeting luncheon. Then we're looking to possibly do a reception in the afternoon as well. Everyone is welcome. And I want to say we have at least one delegate in the room here too. Mark, if you want to stand up too, because you're going to be a delegate at World Affairs Seminar this year. So June 29th, put that on your calendar for our board and our McNally, our Ryan president elect. All right, thank you, everybody. Any other comments? I'm going to turn it over to Don to talk about next rotary here. <laughs> 